Welcome to the webinar series on Essential and Sick Newborn Care. This is the first webinar in the series on newborn health in India. And we at WHO Collaborating Center at Ames, New Delhi, have the privilege of sharing peer review resource material on essential newborn care and sick newborn care developed by experts in the country. Nearly 26 million neonates are born in India each year. This accounts for 16%, one-sixth of global births. Nearly 1 million die before completing the first four weeks of life, accounting for nearly 40% of total 2.5 million neonatal deaths. The current neonatal mortality rate of India is 23 per thousand live births. This contributes to two-thirds of infant deaths and 60% of under five deaths. This scenario for India is unacceptable given the progress being made as a potential strategic global power. Let us look at the neonatal mortality rate of countries like US, UK and Japan, 4, 5 and 2, China and Brazil, 4 and 8 per thousand live births respectively. In our neighborhood, Bangladesh NMR is 19, while that of Sri Lanka is 4 per thousand live births. India has set the goal to reduce the NMR to less than 16 by 2025 as per National Health Policy 2017 and single digit NMR by 2030 as per India Newborn Action Plan goals. The variation in neonatal mortality rates across states and districts needs to catch the attention of policymakers. NMR is just 5 in Kerala, which is comparable to UK and US. On the other hand, NMR in Odisha, Madhya Pradesh, UP is 33, 32 and 30 respectively. The state of Uttar Pradesh alone accounts for one quarter of neonatal deaths in the country. This is followed by Bihar, 28 per thousand live births, Odisha and Madhya Pradesh. Together these four states constitute nearly 5 lakhs neonatal deaths, thus representing 50% of burden of neonatal deaths in India. Prematurity, sepsis and asphyxia comprise the three major causes of neonatal deaths. Prematurity related complications account for 40% of neonatal deaths. Systemic bacterial infection along with pneumonia constitute one quarter deaths while asphyxia related birth complications represent one fifth of neonatal deaths. Nearly 50% of premature deaths in healthcare facilities happen due to respiratory distress. Early, safe and effective CPAP, continuous positive airway pressure and judicious use of antenatal corticosteroids can avert many deaths in preterm babies. Nearly three-fourths of neonatal deaths occur during first week of life. Approximately 40% of neonatal deaths occur on the very first day. Improving care at birth as envisioned in Lakshya program gives triple dividends by reducing neonatal, maternal deaths and stillbirths. National Lakshya program focuses on strengthening labor delivery room, operation theaters, postnatal care in hospitals using quality improvement approach. Most deaths occur in those who are born with low birth weight, defined as birth weight of less than 2,500 grams. These are the newborns who are born early and small to the mothers, majority of whom are anemic and undernourished or are born to young mothers less than 20 years of age or who have frequent pregnancies with suboptimal birth intervals. NMR in rural areas is double that of urban areas, while among the poorest, it is much higher. This inequality must end if we have to reduce country's neonatal mortality as a whole. The government of India rightly identified 117 aspirational districts, nearly 20% of all districts in the country, 
where concerted effort for improvement in health, education, water, sanitation, hygiene, and social sector need to be focused upon. If equity of care, as envisaged in universal health coverage, has to be achieved, and if India has to emerge as a global power, government should consider equity sensitive targets like specific NMR targets for rural and urban poor populations. The needs of states with varying NMR may be tailor made. Immediate needs, for example, in states with very high neonatal mortality rate, above 30, is for basic care and skilled safe care at birth, while those between 16 to 30 additional need facility based newborn care and sick preterm care, including CPAP, and those who achieve single digit NMR need strengthening of tertiary care and saving babies with congenital malformations. Good quality skilled care at the time of birth is essential both for the mother and the baby. Immediate postnatal interventions that save neonates includes breastfeeding within one hour of birth and exclusive breastfeeding for first six months of life, keeping the baby warm, ensuring proper cord care, providing extra care for small vulnerable babies and ensuring these babies receive kangaroo mother care. Detection of illness and early care seeking is essential to reduce early mortality due to sickness such as sepsis and pneumonia. Often this needs safe and effective referral for care at healthcare facility. Perinatal mortality rate includes stillbirth and early neonatal deaths. Deaths in the first seven days. Stillbirth refers to fetal death after the gestation of viability. The current perinatal mortality and stillbirth rates of our country are 23 and 5 per thousand pregnancies respectively. However, this could be a gross underestimate of the true rates in the country. This is so because there is underreporting of early neonatal deaths. Global trend shows stillbirth rate is about 90% of neonatal mortality rate. Like NMR, the perinatal mortality rate also varies between the states from 11 in Kerala to as high as 36 in Odisha. Perinatal death surveillance and response and newborn death reviews audit must be implemented at scale. In 2005, Government of India launched the National Rural Health Mission to focus on rural people. Currently, 1 million accredited social health activists, ASHAs, have been deployed in the country. The designated female community health workers create awareness about health and counsel women on reproductive health and newborn health. ASHAs mobilize families to seek antenatal care. They accompany women in the hospital for deliveries. This is supported by Janani Suraksha Yojana under which cash assistance is given to mother and to, and to the accompanying ASHA if the delivery happens in healthcare facility. Other than JSY, other programs such as antenatal care, integrated management of neonatal childhood illness or IMNCI and developing special newborn care units in facilities and Navjat Shishu's Suraksha Karikram are aimed to at newborn survival. The problem is that the implementation is tardy and inadequate and as a result, life-saving interventions often do not reach enough mothers and babies. India has the resources and solutions to reduce the burden of high newborn mortality. The way forward is to achieve a high enough coverage of maternal and newborn care intervention, antenatal care, intranatal care, and postnatal care in the population. Government should adopt the global standards for mother and newborn health and small and sick newborn babies to strengthen service delivery with good quality. We need to upscale and integrate the efforts to ensure institutional delivery with postnatal care of mothers and neonates at home. Without home, 
and community-based neonatal care, real gains in the newborn survival are hard to achieve. Home-based neonatal care should include counseling on warmth, hygiene cord care, exclusive breastfeeding, prolonged kangaroo mother care for low birth weight babies, early detection of illness, and additional care of low birth weight babies during newborn period until 15 months of age. Neonates who develop signs of illness must be recognized by mothers and immediately seek appropriate care. Facilities in private and government sectors must be strengthened to ensure skilled care during labor to ensure provision of quality care to mother and newborn babies. Doctors and nurses have the duties and responsibilities to acquire skills in managing normal, low birth weight and sick neonates. So we learned that newborn health in India still needs a lot of attention. The neonatal mortality rates vary across different states and hence targeted approach specific to each context is needed. Three-fourths of neonatal deaths occur in the first week of life. We have evidence-based interventions, but need to ensure high coverage of these interventions in antenatal, perinatal, and postnatal care to save lakhs of newborn babies and prevent stillbirths. With proper planning and effective implementation to reach high coverage with good quality, close monitoring of progress and accountability is the need of the hour in the country. Thank you.